ZK Time Net Training Course Chapter 5 Device Management, Shift Management and Exception Management Add Devices, click Device option in the Configuration menu, then click New Buttons to enter device information. After connection setup is completed, click Save. Then the system starts to connect to the device. If the connection succeeded, add the device information under Device Table. Add a shift, click Add Shift under the Shift menu. Then enter the detail shift information. The code automatically generated by the system. Shift Start. The time of day when employees in this shift are scheduled to begin work. Shift End. The time of day when employees in the shift are scheduled to stop working. Time before check-in. The time range before the check-in time, out of which employees check-in is invalid. Time after checkout, the time range after the checkout time, out of which employees check out is invalid. Break, for each break code, you may define up to two break slots. You must specify the start and end time for each of the slots, as well as whether any incident applies. Add break, the break code automatically generated by the system. The name of the break. For the break start time. To the break end time. Minute after you enter time increment 2, the system automatically counts the break time period. Click save to save the setting and display the information under break table. Set rounding details. Round 2. The minimum round off unit of working hours. As shown in the previous figure, if the round 2 is 10, take 10 minutes as the minimum unit when counting the working hours. Round down in or out, round up values greater than the round down value. Round down values less than or equal to the round down value. In and out correspond to check in and check out respectively. Set shift round rule, set an attendance time range. As for any attendance time during this time range, the system records it as the time in round time. If there are rounding details in set round rule, it will be the priority rounding details. From less than equals round time less than equals to is required. Shift Allocation When temporary shift allocation is required, you can allocate shifts for employees in this interface. The system summarizes shifts firstly based on allocated shifts and secondly on the signed shifts set in employee management. Select the employee related to the assigned shift, then click Shift Allocation to Assign Shift. To designate the shift on a certain day for one employee, click left key to select the date of the assigned shift. Right click on the interface to display the existing shift and then left click the shift. To designate the same shift in several dates, press, control, key and click left key of the mouse to select several dates, then click right key. To select shifts, and release, control, key after completion. Exception Management sets possible exceptions for employees to record attendance. The system default exceptions are vacation, sick and holiday. These can be changed but not deleted. Click Add Exception and set the details.
hours, the time duration of the exception. Multiplier, the lever exception coefficient, the range, 1 less than equals multiplier less than equals 3. The user can define different coefficients for different leaves.